Hey friends, um, <clears throat> I, I, I hope you're watching my previous videos. Uh, please have a check on it. So this is the continuation again on EC2 series. Well, today I'll talk about how to connect to the EC2 instance using uh, PEM and PPK format. Uh, in case if you guys are using uh, Windows 10 or Mac uh, or Linux, I'm talking about the Linux from the GUI, uh, also from the uh, CLI or uh, text. Um, so mine is, if you see my screen, mine is uh, Windows 11. So mine is Win version, yeah, Windows 11, the new one, uh, which I've got. So there are two ways of connecting it. The older way is uh, if you're using, uh, you know, less than Windows 10, for example, Windows 8 or Windows 7, you have to do some kind of... Uh, uh, step I think I've already explained in my previous videos how to convert uh, you know PEM to PPK file and you have to download the putty and putty keychain and all those things but if you're on to Windows 10 and Windows 11 there is an easy way of doing it first what I first what I normally do is um, I'll come here and then I'll click on EC2 and then um, I'll just go for uh, EC2 key pair, dashboard key pairs here, yeah. and then I'm gonna I'm gonna create a new key pair. So, <clears throat> so I'll just mention demo demo key pair, PEM something like this, and then I'm just choosing PEM. Okay, so just remember PEM is uh, you can use this PEM if you're using Windows 10 or Windows 11 or Mac or um, any kind of CLI, Linux CLI. Uh, if you're using PPK here, it means that you're using uh, an older version of Windows, for example, Windows 8 or Windows um, 7, okay? So I'm using Windows 11, so I'm just hitting .pem and creating a new key pair, and then automatically a new key pair will download it in a .pem format. It will be in my downloads folder. Yep, see? So you got it in the downloads folder. We have something called demo key pair pem dot pem. Okay. So whatever naming you are giving, it will be coming up in the prefix. So I've just given demo key pair pem dot pem pem. So it added the dot pem extension. Cool. Now let's launch an instance real quick. Okay. So EC2. So I'm in the Mumbai region. So I'm just hitting on EC2 instances here launch instance free tier i'm using amazon linux to vmi and linux to ami so t2 micro I'm just hitting on next so i'm not going to change anything else here next add storage not touching anything so name so for a pem demo instance something like this i'm just hitting next and for instance, I'm just choosing this and then next and then launch and this is a key pair. I have to choose the one which I have created now. So hitting launch instance, so which will take uh, another two to three minutes. Okay, so let's say over there the instance is up and running. Yep. We got the instances up and running now what you have to do is um you have a connect button here click on connect and there is something called ssh client okay hit on the ssh client and then you can see it would ask you for the uh, list of the steps like open an ssh client locate your private key the key you used to launch this instance in this and run this command blah 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 okay uh for this for this video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this uh, command ssh hyphen i means where your uh, pem file is, and then you're going to connect to ec2 hyphen user and then add uh, this is your um, DNS name. Okay, so where can you where can you get this DNS name? It's nothing but if you hit on cancel here and then click on your instance and then scroll down, so you have something called a private IPv4 DNS. This one. So this is what added there, okay, connect. So you will see the same thing there. I'm sorry, not, uh, it's my mistake, I'm sorry. It's not IPv4 DNS, it's public IPv4, public IPv4 DNS, okay. Uh, three hyphen triple one, this one. So this one is copied here, in fact. 
so connect and then it says it's client see three have in trouble one okay cool uh, let's do that so before I do that uh, if you are on Windows above Windows 10 okay mine is Windows 11 so I'm clicking on the Windows button I'm typing PowerShell Windows PowerShell I got so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to my uh, downloads folder so this is where I have downloaded my uh, new key which is demo key pair pem dot pem so well, I'm gonna type SSH okay hyphen I and then uh, demo key pair Sorry, demo key pair right yeah demo key pair dot pem so SSH then space hyphen I then demo key pair pem dot pem and then I'm gonna type uh, this entire thing here EC2 hyphen is a user and at and then the public IP DNS name and then hit enter so now it will ask you uh, if it will ask you for the first time uh, that are you sure you're connecting to just for the security reason so it will say yes so now you are connected right now so this is a Linux instance which you are connected right now PWD if you see okay so this is an easy way if you're if you're using you know Windows 10 and greater than Windows 10 else if you're using the older way what we normally do is we have to convert this .pem file to .ppk how will you do it put a keygen okay then you have to click on it then you have to click on load so look for the folder where I download this file click on this one all files so you have to demo key pair then hit on open then hit OK then you have to hit on save private key yes then you convert into uh, you know dot ppk file so you have to convert this into dot ppk file close it after that you have to go to putty then you have to connect it and then type the uh, IP address and then hit on connect it should connect okay so this is the easy way of do uh, I mean I mean the first one if you're if you're using more than Windows 10 this is a very very easy way of it okay and also you can try the same thing with the command prompt as well hit on command prompt go to downloads folder and then SSH SSH hyphen I demo key pair and then ec2 hyphen user sorry one moment so I'm gonna copy the same thing uh, this one yeah so let me copy this then I'm going to do command prompt SSH enter so now see it is logged in now so right now I'm just logged in from my command prompt okay this is not using putty or something so this is through command prompt so this is as easy, easy as it is okay thanks guys